In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix any printhead errors that you may be coming across with your HP SmartTank 580 model. If you don't have this particular model, but another HP or HP SmartTank, then I'd recommend to keep watching as this solution could help you as well due to the fact that you need the HP app connected to the printer and all HP printers use this service. Uh, I find the app very useful. I use it all the time, not just for printing, but maintaining the quality of my image as well as document. So what you're gonna need is to make sure that your printer is plugged in and connected to a strong Wi-Fi source. You also need to make sure that the power icon is a consistent white light before doing anything, as you wouldn't wanna interrupt any other process that the printer may be doing. Also make sure that you have a couple pieces of paper already set into the page, into the printer. Uh, if you're not sure exactly how to install that, we do have another video in the uh, channel that will help you to install that and adjust the slider as needed. You also need to make sure that this tab here is out. So we're gonna just pull that out and make sure that's ready. As once we do a print head cleaning, it's gonna issue as a diagnostics page to have a look at. And so you wouldn't want that to fall on the floor. You just want it to be caught nicely there. So what you're gonna do once you have all this set up and you make sure that you're uh, connected your printer to the HP app, you can use the same app for mobile, Android or uh, Mac and Windows. So not to worry if you don't have a Mac, I'm just using it for this video. You can also use any of those other devices and we do have another video as well for that. So if you need help connecting it, you can check that out. But once you do have it on this page and you have your smart tank connected, you can go ahead and click on smart tank and it will bring up this page here. We want to scroll down to the tools and the alignment and maintenance page. And once this loads up, you're going to have a few different options of what you can do. And we're going to be focusing on the clean printhead service. So we're gonna press clean. And at this stage, it will begin a stage one print head cleaning. And this does take 30 seconds to a minute. So just let it do its thing. And then you'll be issued a notification on your screen to let you know it's done. And you'll also see that the power button stops flashing to indicate that the process has finished. Uh, it also automatically issue a um, diagnostics page, which will come out here. So you'll see that come out in just a moment. And here you are, so it's now finished the stage one we can go ahead and have a look at this diagnostics page. Feel free to have a read through this in a bit more detail, but this just tells you the three tests it's done. And you can see for the stage one, if the um, test for the pattern, if the lines are straight, then this is a great sign. If they're wavy or at an angle, then you may need to align the print heads. For the test two, you need to see if there's any lines going through the color. Now, at the moment there isn't, so that's great. And then for the third and final test, you'll see if there's any lines where the arrows point and you can see here that there isn't. So this is great as well. Now, if you are having any of the indicators here show you an issue, what you'll need to do is come back to your printer, to your PC and just do a level two cleaning. And then once it's done that, you'll get another uh, diagnostics page, which you can have a look at again to see if it fixed the issue. And from there, you can either do a level three cleaning and do the same process or just press done and move on to printing again. But for now, we're just gonna select done. And that will go back to this page. Now at any time, you can always do a print quality report to see uh, if there's anything wrong. You always can just come back to the alignment and maintenance side on the settings of your HP Smart Tank and just print one off whenever you feel like it. So feel free to use that feature. Uh, this is a great solution if you're running into any issues with your printer and you're not quite sure what's causing it, you can always do a quick double check to see if the print heads are having any issues and fix it quite quickly. So I hope this has provided you with a solution if you're having any issues with this. And my name's Pat, this is Printers with Pat. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave us some feedback down in the comment section if you'd like. And if you did enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.